There are times when all of the stuff you do are not, is not necessary. You can go to God. You don't have to send him. And talk to him as a father and a child. Ask him what you have need yeah. of. Tell him what you really want. Put your heart on the table. And I trust if you say yes, thank you. If you say no, I may not like it, but I trust that there's a reason why all is well. But I want you to know what I want. Relationship and security allows you to get there. But if you have an issue with or if you're struggling with him, we don't never develop that kind of relationship. If you had to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's be ready in the moment. So, so we're talking about getting your heart and mind on the same page. And that's what the Father's really asking. Ephesians 3 says, Now to him who's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, right? Look what it says, according to the power, which means the faith or the belief or the spirit or the confidence in every word that works in you. The problem is not, can God do it? The issue is, but do you believe that he'll do it for you? Yeah. <laughs> Will he do it for you? Do you have the confidence that he'll do it for you? I know he did it for Abraham, hasn't he? And most, but do you believe he'll do it for you? Yes. I got the faith to know that he can do all everything. But do you believe he would do it for you? He can do exceeding abundant above all the things, but only according to the power, faith, confidence that's working in you. And we have to stop this derogatory speech about ourselves as if God gets glory and us tearing ourselves down. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to close right here. Uh, let's put this and move to my close. <laughs> I want you to get this point right here uh, to me. I got this story I'm going to put up here. Uh, well, yeah, that's the story that I want to get to. To show you the power of belief. Now he, meaning Jesus, did not do many mighty works there. Because of what? The issue wasn't that he wasn't Jesus. But he couldn't do mighty works because they didn't believe That he didn't, he didn't even believe that, that he'd do it for them. And, and now, do you? Let me let's talk for one minute. And this I got one or two more scriptures. Do you believe that Jesus was struggling with having faith in his Father? Yet he didn't do mighty works. It wasn't because he lacked faith in the Father. He still had the power. But he works according to the power that is at work in us. So there's a cognitive function you got to make up in your mind. I believe God. That I believe that he will do what he says. I know I have faith about that. You know, but I believe. And I believe that he'll do it for me. And I'm going to say it like this in a selfish way. It doesn't matter what he did or didn't do for you. I have my own walk with God. I have my own relationship with God. So I don't care what, how many prayers he didn't answer for you. I don't care what he didn't answer in the past. The past is gone and buried. Today, I come to him and I believe that he's going to grant me the petition. 
He's going to grant me. I believe that he's going to do it for me. I don't, regardless of what happened, I don't care how many times he said no. I believe that today is the day. And I'm going to keep on believing. Thank you, Lord God. Until I get what I desire. Now, there's a word in the scripture. I'm not going to pull up the scripture there. But I'm just going to give you the scenario of it. There's a word in the scripture when it says uh, in, in, Matthew, in Malachi about provoking the Lord. So the, the word provoke also means to prove or to test and so forth. It, 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 it's a word that, that means to, to also pester. Thank you, Lord God. Nudge. It, it, it's, it's wear me down. So, so you, you know how it is when you really, really want something? And, and you can begin to get to a place of, of, of pestering your parent. Are you going to get it? Did, did you get it yet? Uh, uh, when are you going to get it? Uh, uh, what time is it? Is it time to go yet? Is it, and, and, and you wearing them down. That they're like, okay, uh, hey, ho, hey, okay, get in the car. Let's go. Let's go because I, I can't get no peace. God is trying to tell us when he says provoke, get me to a place that you almost take away my peace because every time I turn around, you're saying, uh, uh, when is it coming? Uh, I know it's coming. Uh, is it on the way? Uh, who's bringing it? Uh, how much is it? Hallelujah, God. You say the day, what time is it? Is it on the way, God? Pastor, Pastor, you can drive God to a place of release. But that's only when you believe that he's going to do it. That's right. And pester him until his release. That's right. Lift your hand and tell the Lord thank you. Now I got to ask you, how bad you really want to be blessed? Just because you got no right here, so that's the reason to throw in the towel. The devil is alive. I'm going to be right back at the throne saying, mm, You say it. You say it. Your word. Your word said it. I went to church and the, and the praise team was even singing. Somebody was talking to me. They didn't even know they were talking about. It. They are firm, but I'm getting all kind of witnesses to this. What I know that you put in me. When is it coming, Lord? When is it coming, God? When can I expect it? As a matter of fact, I'm going to start telling everybody. Do you know I'm blessed? Do you know I got what I got here? Do you know I'm speaking faith? Because I know you're not going to let me down. Uh, do you know what I got? Do you know what God did? I'm going to put your name out there. That's when you believe. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. So the question is not about your faith, it's what you believe. Do you believe that God will do it for you? Yes, sir. Father said, I got the faith to know that you're God. But my mind is not on the same page with my heart. Help me to get my heart and mind my unbelief. We pray and tell the Lord, thank you. Let's get ready to close. Let's get ready. I got to get close here. I just feel like talking about this, baby. And of course, they got scriptures that Israel didn't enter the promised land because of their unbelief. So the scripture says, let us in Hebrews be diligent to enter that rest, that promise of God. All of my true religion is God's operation upon your soul. Love that quote. It is again, Jesus said, not if you can believe. We understand heart and mind on the same page. Nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be impossible. There was a time. We didn't have the technology we have today. Men wanted to fly and do all of those things. They initially started with putting feathers on wood and straw, trying to see if they could work like birds. That didn't work. So they came up with the engine concept that they used to prepare automobiles and then 
translated that concept engine to something. Put wings out there with flaps like a bird to control, understanding with enough flight you can get off the ground. We still technically don't fly that we have wings, but we fly because we develop technology to develop planes and to take us all up in the, not on the other side of the world, but all up in the atmosphere, because yeah. now we understand. So I never grew wings, but it didn't stop me from getting to the moon. Come on. Come out. From getting to Mars. Because to the person that believes, all things are possible. And God's answering us in ways that are a lot different than we think. We don't recognize the answer, but he's answering. But I believe. I believe. I don't just have faith. I believe. Sky is the limit. The door is open. There is no limit to what can be achieved by a person that truly believes. I know that faith can't fail. Can't. The question is, but do you believe? It? 